Before we get into this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the bell notification button and please like this video as well. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. As you guys have seen by the title, today I am doing a vanity tour and makeup collection for you guys. I know that I have filmed quite a few of these videos in the past, but I want to make like an updated one because I absolutely love my makeup desk and my makeup collection so much. It is my pride and joy and literally all this stuff here I can't I cannot wait to show you all because I love my makeup so much and I'm always buying new makeup products, also buying new display items to put on my desk as well. So, let's go on with the video. Before we do get into this video, please excuse like the banging. Basically, this roof is on the roof, so please excuse the noise because the noise like has been driving me crazy. So please try to like ignore the background noise like as much as you can um, because it is it's really frustrating, I know, but anyway, yeah. So everyone, like as you guys can see, here is my makeup desk. This makeup desk is ideal for me because it has all sorts of drawers, it has places to like, um, like hold my makeup brushes, uh, more drawers. This is perfect. Um, like there's loads of space to all like jewellery, um, makeup brushes, sprays, perfumes. So firstly, I have this lovely salon chair which is actually like a white one. This is so comfortable, like I sit in this all the time to do my makeup film and um, YouTube videos in. I will try to lift this up and show you. Please ignore all the blue stains on there, like it's from my black pants. Awful. This lovely chair was actually from um, eBay for £35. So comfortable and yeah, yes, it's perfect. But anyway, moving on to like my makeup brushes, I will. Um, show you them now. So starting off with my makeup brushes and like hand sanitizers and sprays so basically like I do have a lot of makeup brushes but I do have clients who come to the house to get the makeup done every now and then. I brushes like I own some spectrum ones which are really cool uh, like star ones, um, real techniques ones, peaches and cream which are really good. This um, concealer brush um, like it's in PC40 perfect for carving out your eyebrows um, and then like a eye base for eyeshadow, it's perfect for that. I also like have some non-branded brushes as well which are really good for like glitters and um, all sorts. I keep them like in the Soella pots as well which are really cute. Perfect size for storing makeup brushes. I love the Real Techniques Beauty Blenders because they're really nice and, and perfect. Like please like excuse how dirty they are, um, like I really need to clean them but um, diamond as well which is really good for like um, in a corner concealer. I also have this glitter brush um, which needs cleaned as well and like a lip gloss brush as well which is good for like lip glosses. Um, yes these are stored in this Suella pot which I think is really cute. Hand sanitizers are essential right now. Raspberry Ripple one and Gobstopper. Um, these are so nice and speaking of hand sanitizer I actually need to use a little bit because my hands are dirty so um, like always clean your hands, always use like hand sanitizer guys. Here I have some makeup brush cleaner, candy cosmetics and um, glitter spray which is really good. I'll just kind of put that down and show you. Just show you what it looks like. So pretty. Oh my god, can you see that? Wow, this spray is perfect. Um, soap and glory kind of like, um, like glow oil. Um, pretty cool. Um, really nice actually as well. Like I've used this a few times and it's really cool. Mario Badescu spray which is really cool again. Revolution sprays um, like setting sprays are really good and then some more Revolution sprays for setting my face. So next up on my makeup desk is these two I saw clean cleaners. So I have the cleaning spray which is good for like cleaning eye brushes. Um, this is really good for like hygiene control as well. So clean solution which is really good. Oh, also comes with like a little petri dish as well. These two I saw clean cleaners are really good for controlling bacteria. Um, like on your makeup brushes, cleaning them really well, like preventing like any eye infections, acne spots from showing up on your skin. So these are really good for like cleaning your makeup brushes. Moving on to this side, like on my makeup desk, like I have some fake flowers in this little jar. This lovely jar is actually from Dunelm, I think. So for perfumes, like I have the Britney Spears Midnight Dream perfume. Like I've had this perfume for years. This perfume smells really nice and classic 
teenage perfume for me. Um, next up, like, is my Lady Million perfume. This perfume is my all-time favourite. Um, like, I'm actually wearing this today. Packaging is perfect. There was hardly anything left in it, but it is what it is. Um, next up is Daily Love perfume. One of my favourite perfumes again. This smells really nice. It's a lovely, sweet floral perfume. It's really nice. Next up is my Machino Fresh perfume, which I think is, like, really cool. The packaging's really cool. This perfume is, like, a floral fresh one, and... Yes, it's really nice and the packaging's really cool as well. Um, next up, I have, like, I have the Jimmy Choo Blossom, which is um, like a lovely sweet perfume and the packaging is so cute again, it's really nice. Um, next up, Alien Perfume, it's one of my favourites. Um, Ted Baker Poly Perfume, this perfume has been discontinued, which is really sad, but it, like, it smells really nice and perfect perfume for like going out for the day, you know, perfect perfume. Next up, like I have two VS sprays. I have um, Jasmine Noir, Jasmine Dream as well, which is really nice sprays. Soap and Glory sprays, like the Black Opium perfume, body spray dupe. This smells so good. Perfect spray. Uh, wow. Wowie. In this drawer over here, I have like all my false eyelashes, so Tati Eyelashes Primark, Doll Beauty, GWA, Peaches and Cream, Primark Individuals, like all sorts of eyelashes in here. Like I use these like on myself and on my clients as well. All these eyelashes are beautiful. Can you see these? In this drawer, I have like soap and glory face masks in here, the clog mask, and um, primer pore strips, which are really good, and um, primer face mask as well, eye patches as well, and um, more face masks, skincare items like spot cream. Um, peel off charcoal mask, my everyday summer glory moisturizer. I will like have to buy a new one. Um, baby lips as well. Like I used to collect these probably like in 2016. Throwback. Then like a load of lip balms as well, like Vaseline's, um, Nyx ones as well. Um, so that's like my drawer in there. Here is where I store like all my favorite jewelry bits. So like I have my two Vivienne Westwood boxes for like my um. Earrings and necklace, a Louis Vuitton bracelet. I'll just show you it. This is quite hard to open. This bracelet is really nice. It's like that. Is it going to focus? There we go. Also, have some eyelash boxes as well, like to store my eyelashes in, doll beauty ones, um, saucy eyelashes ones. And then, like, I just like, have some more boxes for jewellery, like earrings and like more like behind that. So, that's that bit. Moving on to my first drawer. Uh, this drawer like is my first drawer so like I have foundations, concealers, primers, powders, bronzers, contour, so basically everything. So what I have here, um, lots of foundations for like my clients and myself. So like I have the LA Girl foundation which is like a really orangey foundation and it oxidises really badly. It's Maybelline Superstay foundations. These foundations have the best coverage and you can buy two for £12 so perfect foundations uh, MAC foundation Maybelline Dream Satin liquid one Rimmel foundations Too Faced Peach one which is lovely a lovely light coverage foundation moving on to concealers my favourite concealers are the Revolution ones because the coverage is really good like I do have quite a few so like and most of these like are in C1 C2, C3 and C4, so like I do own quite a lot of these. I also have quite a few of the NYX ones as well, which are really good. Two loose powders here, Revolution 1, both in lace. Born to Glow, um, Liquid Highlighter, um, NYX Primer, um, Number 7 Primer, Chave Balm as well, which are really good primers. Blushing Hearts, perfect for highlighters actually. So pretty, can you see that? Wow, so pretty for highlight. And um, what else do I have? Violet Foss um, highlighter palette as well, which is really pretty. And I also have um, Sleek Contour and Medium, which I do love so much. It's really good contour. And it has, has a highlight with it. Primark highlighter as well, which is really pretty actually. £2.50 for a highlighter and so nice. And Dandelion Blush, which is really nice. The colour is amazing. I'll show you the colour of that. Look how pretty the colour is. Um, and like also smells really nice as well. I have the Urban Decay Highlighter and Anastasia Highlight and then like over here Too Faced Bronzer the packaging is beautiful and the, the bronzer is so beautiful as well look how lovely that is 
bronzer and highlight in one, it's so pretty. I do have quite a few contour palettes. So yeah, so that's like my first draw really. Just like, it's like it's got a um, lot of foundations, concealers, powders, bronzers, all sorts in here. So that's my first draw. Moving on to my favourite draw, the eye draw. Honestly, this draw makes me so happy guys. Like there's all sorts of glitters in here and um, like eyeshadow palette, it's a colourful eyeshadow palette. So like over here, Christmas eyeshadow palettes in here. So pretty. The packaging's really cute. And then the next one's really cute as well. Eyelash glue, my favourite one, duo eyelash glue. Um, perfect and it glues your lashes on straight away. Um, pigment drops and peaches and cream, really good for like mixing eye glitters together and um, making them into liquids. Eyeliners, because you need eyeliners. Mascara and the packaging is broken off it. it it's meant to be Urban Decay, but the packaging is broken off it for some reason. But yeah, it's like mascara. Um, like I have some eyebrow for made as well, like colourful um, eyeliners. Paint glow glitters, which are really good. These like glow in the dark as well, which I think is really cool. And then I'd like to peel away space. Um, like I literally have like a lot of eyeliners in here. Um, eye glitter primers as well. I own quite a lot of eye glitters. Peaches and cream eye glitters are so good. Um, pool party phoenix out to this world um like hollywood gatsby like i literally own ten thousand of these glitters but these eye glitters like are really useful for creating eye looks and everything I like glam ones mac pigment which is gorgeous can you see the color of that the mac pigment is beautiful um next one as well which is like a lovely pearly color which i love so much um primark glitters um really cool or like have some Tanya Burr ones for a back <laughs> next glitters as well which I think are so cute have you seen these these colors are really nice stargazer cosmetics ones as well which are really nice I you have these in the cheek every color of the rainbow I won't lie to you they're so pretty yeah holler and glow hair get from Primark which is really cool more next glitters as well I uh, love them so much and moving in like onto Highest of palettes, um, NYX Ultimate, which is colourful. The colours are so good. Um, Violet Foss one, which is really good. I use this. I use the colours in this all the time. Um, Favourite highest palette for like everyday kind of colours. Thor Effects of Spice, which I haven't used in ages. Anastasia Norvina palette, which is gorgeous. The colours in here are beautiful, like all the glitters and the mattes and the packaging as well. The purple colour is beautiful. Can you see that? It's beautiful. Uh, what else do I have? I also have like a little Too Faced one which is like a really old one actually. Um, cat Size which I think is really nice. Sample Beauty Immensity Palette which is really nice. Like, the colours are vibrant and the pigmentation is so good. Like the pigmentation of these is so good. The Balm YouTube Dash Palette which is a really old one. Um, I have used it a lot. I also have like some Revolution ones as well, eyebrow palettes as well from Revolution, um, magnetic eyeshadow palettes as well, a few ones as well because Morphe is so good for eyeshadows, I'll just kind of open these, perfect, 35O, I also have 35H as well, God, it's so hard to open with nails, 35H, I also have this one in 35M, God, these are so hard to open, I really apologise. <laughs> Look at the colours in that. And then finally, my favourite eyeshadow palette of all is the Be Perfect Carnival Extra Large one, which actually is so good. Honestly, I can't open these palettes today. Look at the colours in that. And it has highlighter in it. Look at them. And the mirror is huge in it as well. Gorgeous. So that is my eye draw. Um, my eye draw is the best draw ever because there's so, so many glitters. Um, eyeshadow palettes, everything, so good and I love it. Moving on to my lip draw, this draw um, is like really unorganised, really messy in my opinion. So what I have here, like a load of peaches and cream glosses, honestly, these are beautiful. Lip liners from Primark, um, Maybelline, peaches and cream, all sorts of brands and lip liners are so good. Sharpener, Morphe lipsticks, Morphe lipsticks are my fave. Uh, they're gorgeous. And Primark lipsticks as well, and they have some of them. And um, Mac lipstick, which looks like a purple colour. Just show you the colour of this purple colour. And Sertia lipstick as well, which is like a lovely dark purpley red. Two Faced ones as well. And Soap and Glory glosses as well, because 
but they're my favourite liquid lipsticks as well which are beautiful so everybody this is the end of my vanity tour and makeup collection video i really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video if you did you know what to do make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below please also subscribe to my channel because we are edging closer to 3,000 subscribers now and um, my goal was to hit 3,000 subscribers by the end of June we are currently on 2,940 so please keep subscribing and we will get there but anyway I will see you all in my next video goodbye everybody